what's up guys and welcome back to my channel so today i'm back again with another video today i'm going to be sharing you some, some tips and tricks so uh, especially for the new traders booming crash okay so i'm going to be sharing with you some tips and tricks in order for you to be what to be profitable trading boom and crash okay so today i've got uh, just some information that i want to share with you right things that i've noticed that will make you profitable or not when trading okay so as you can see this is a live account right so okay let me jump into it okay. so i'm not going to be sharing any strategy in this video okay this strategy i'm going to be for this examples only i'm going to be using the payapa strategy that i uh, posted in the previous video okay you can i think i'll leave the link in the description below right uh, that's what i'm going to be using as an example but you can use any strategy that you want just make sure that you master that strategy and practice it out or not on demo okay so let me just add one position okay, okay. so today i've got a, just some simple rules that i'm going to be sharing with you okay so firstly i've got what you in order to be profitable you have to be disciplined right okay so what do i mean by you have to be disciplined right you have to wait for certain in other words you have to be patient firstly right you have to be patient if your entry uh, if your entry rules haven't been met you have to be disciplined enough to wait until your what your entry has been what your entry conditions have been made right you don't just have to enter because you see that the market is already rallying down or rallying up right and then you think that you'll be left out right you don't have to do that okay just wait for your entries to be what to be made right this entry i took it because uh, whenever the market comes back to the 50 moving average this is the black moving average i enter a trade right so here it came back to the to the 50 moving average that's when i what i entered right and as you can see i always have my stop loss placed right there right I always have your stop loss placed guys right know the amount that you're willing to risk right as for me that's the amount i'm willing to to risk i'm going to add the stop loss on this entry later right the entry that i just took now right so the most important thing <coughs> the most important thing when trading is that you have a trading journal right you have a trading journal where you write down the mistakes that you made in that day right write down the mistakes that you made uh what you, are, you have to correct and what you have to do in the future right so so that that's so this will help you so that you don't make what, the same mistake over and over right you don't have to make the same mistake over and over in the with the same what you have to you don't have to lose money over the same simple thing each and every time right so that's what i'm you have to say right so on your trading journal write down the entries your your entry conditions right you enter when the market is like this right and stick to that don't uh, just because someone said just sell or do this don't have to enter wait for your conditions to be made right you could be a reversal trader a continuation pattern trader right so stick to one thing right for example these entries that i took here they are for reversals right because there was what an m right here on the 15 minute time frame right let me show you okay there's an m right there right so these are what reversal pattern trades right and the entry that i just took now right the one on the five minute time frame it's a continuation pattern what set up right because we've got a rally a pullback and i hope that you want to rally back right so if the trade doesn't uh, reach my tp my take profit uh, that will be it guys you don't have to change your trading plan at, according to your mood that day right stick to your trading plan right if set entry points stop loss and take profits right you don't have to just keep depending on your mood that day or the amount that you want that day right another thing that you have to take note of is that you always have to have your targets right you've got to have a daily target right a weekly target or a monthly target whatever it could be right let's say you say per day i have to target 30 dollars right 
you are going to distribute it right saying is I enter only three times each time I enter I, I target what thirty dollars right if you are targeting fifty dollars you can say I target fifty dollars on the same trade which means you'll be putting a what a larger lot size right if you say that uh, you are targeting fifty dollars and you're targeting fifteen dollars per each trade which means you have to take about three entries right so that's what I mean by what having targets always have targets if your target has been made you don't have to trade that day you don't have to continue trading you can switch to demo account and keep practicing right that's what I just want to say right so I think I'm going to leave the screen recording so that I will show you how it ends right so right here let me show you how I entered my work my trade right so firstly the first entry is here on the top right there right as you can see as I said earlier right there was what an M formation right it was forming some kind of what some kind of M right that's the first what condition right and then my let me shift to the five minute entry right my moving averages right stochastic right here because the moving average right there right that's how I took what this trade right and I had my stop loss at the first I my stop loss marked above this high somewhere above that uh, let me show you on the 15 minute entry right right above this high right there right right above that high so that's where my initial stop loss was right and the as the trade progressed down right I eventually shifted my stop loss to the to this point right here right to this point right here right so if the market moves right and breaks the this structure here this structure this support right here i'm going to enter what i'm going to shift my stop loss somewhere here right so always if a trading plan right i enter when it's the market is like this i put my stop loss above the previous high and i my take profit will be uh, the next previous support or previous what what right if say set plan guys you just don't have to enter each and every time if a set plan okay so that's how i what i entered this one this trade right As you can see here that's when i entered here on the one minute time frame when stochastic crossed all these what all these moving averages that's when i what i took my trade right so this is how you do it you do it guys so i'm going to leave this one screen recording so that i can show you how i exited okay i don't know if i'm going to reach 50 but i know that i'm going to exit depending on the on how the market behaves around this one around this area right so if the market looks funny around this area i'm going to exit my trade right or and i'm going to shift my take profit to this level because there's a what there's a supply right there right that's where I'm going to shift some of my my take profits. This is if this log gets broken right there, then I know that I'm going to be you know in deep profit. So I'll leave the screen recording right and show you how. Meanwhile, so now I'm expecting the price to reach what this supply right here, 
firstly it may spike or not so i'm going to depending on how the market behaves in this what in this region that's if what determines if i'm going to hold my trade to e or i'm going to exit in this what in this area depending on the how the market behaves okay so the most important thing in trading is that you risk the money that you're willing to lose okay otherwise uh, if you don't risk the money you're willing to lose you are going to uh, have more stress right you don't have to babysit trades right unless if you are scalping right if you are scalping and looking forward for entries that's when you have to uh, to babysit trade but if you are swinging if you are in a day trader an intraday trader you don't have to babysit trades you can just set your take profit your stop loss and if the trade running and check uh, if uh, the market is moved well and adjust your stop loss to break even right like how i did here if the market pulls back i know that uh, uh, i'm obviously going to remain with my nine dollars in that in that account right because i adjusted my stop loss to the break even so this is the advantage of risk free trade right after you have adjusted your trade to stop loss to break even you are not worried about losing money say that you are getting zero zero or you are getting a profit right so risk the money that you are willing to lose that's the most important thing in trading right and they have discipline Con try to obviously no one can control their emotions right there's always hope greed and uh, all those other emotions but try to have them under management right that's why i said they have a trading plan to see when you are going wrong right when you are one you, you want to go to do something that you wrote down you always remember it and if you are staring at it you quickly remember that you shouldn't do this, this thing right so always have a trading plan risk the money you are willing to lose be disciplined that's it i'll leave the screen recording